Welcome back to this week's episode of the Talk Shop Podcast. This week is definitely a unique episode because I have some of the team on, Alan, Matt, and Chris. Alan and Matt run the brokerage side of things. Chris handles the CXA management, all the managing asset management across the country. So I want to introduce the boys, just have a normal conversation. I love these guys and give a quick update. Right now, Mo and Chris are in Houston and Arkansas. Chris is going to be so pissed that I like like slipped on his name for a second. Mo and Chris are out in Houston and they just, they're coming back from Arkansas right now. We have 85 units under contract in Arkansas. They, They checked out the market. They met the local boots on the ground. So far, so good. One of the projects has more CapEx than we anticipated. So we're going to work on retrading that deal. And hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, no hard feelings. The CPI, the Consumer Pricing Index, is at 9.1%, which is the highest it's been in like, how long? 20 years? 40 years? 40 years. So inflation is here and rampant. And that means rates are going to go up pretty soon, as we've seen in the past by the Fed. And I think that's going to lead to a ton of good deals. So guys, please introduce yourselves, what you do in the company, and let's just talk. Matt, we pretty much are in charge of sourcing all the deals and seeing them through. Um, that's the vague picture of what we do. <laughs> I am Alan Bulos. I am the uh, licensed broker at Evernest and director of acquisitions for Avgi. And yes, Matt and I are a team that source most of Alon's deals. And uh, yeah, things are going really well. Uh, my name's Chris. Um, like Alon said, I run the management division um, in New York and uh, over the country. Um, yeah. Chris, Chris fucking kills it. Yeah, Chris yeah, does everything. Chris, does Chris everything. Chris just introduced himself like we were back in like elementary school. I know. School and we we're yeah. sitting in a circle. <laughs> I always, I always announce what's Chris. A, what's as, a hobby of yours, glue. Chris? Yeah. The glue that keeps it together is is Chris. Yeah. So. I tell everyone, be nice to him. He runs the office. <laughs> Seriously. He's also Seriously. HR. He is head of HR. That's yep. a key point. Yep. Partner in Evernest as well. Yeah. Can't forget that. So we have three companies. We have four companies now. We have Evernest, CXA, Avgi, and Homeline Construction. All of them work in different facets and do completely different things and have different teams but they all work off of each other. I mean a lot I meet a lot of guys now that have funds and they're like I have no interest in building out, you know, like each of those companies and the time it takes and you know, yeah. you'll like outgrow one and then you can't scale as fast. Mm-hmm. I mean, it holds weight, you know, I get what they mean. Of course, but you know, most of the time it's because they don't have the right people, you know. The yeah. team is everything. So, I think when you build when you're building something like that and you expand like that, as long as you have the right guys, and they handle their stuff and you know how to delegate the work and and not be so controlling over every aspect of everything then you can accomplish so much more but you just definitely need to have the right team mm-hmm. so i agree the problem is like the bottleneck you know right and we definitely have that bottleneck in a couple in one division specifically yeah but I get it too. It took years to build that, you know? So building that over years, like if we would go, if we're fast forwarding and we started from scratch now, like what would we not do? I don't know. I feel like I would do it exactly the same. Yeah. 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 I'd probably just go bigger. Right. You know? Bigger, quicker. Bigger, quicker. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, if we would have bought this big stuff five years ago for half the price mm-hmm. which is what it was five years ago you could have literally bought anything there was no losers but if you bought yeah pre-covid if yeah. you bought more than what it was worth back then mm-hmm. you're still killing it right now mm-hmm. especially in multifamily. yeah multifamily and industrial especially dude those pe- that peacock hills deal do you guys remember that yeah, yeah briefly yeah. yeah briefly yeah the 211 units mm-hmm. they bought that for like 60 grand a door and they're selling it for 130 Oh and they God. did almost nothing. When? They bought it like a month before COVID. What about the one that we saw? Sand Rock, was it? Sand Rock. I mean, talk <laughs> about a, like a... making a killing on a not so great property. I mean, and that property was brutal. Brutal. Did they make a killing? No. I don't think they bought it. They, I think they bought it for like 14. Yeah, they did. And they sold it for 34, no? 
Yeah, 30 something. 30, 30 something, 33. That's, a, that's, that's a killing. killing. That's, that's a killing, man. Yeah. I would love I that. I think they did pump in a lot of money, though. They now, let's say they pump in 5 mil. 10, ten yeah, even. Yeah, you're right. 10 even. But they didn't. It wasn't like that. The biggest issue was the tenants, you remember? Yeah. yeah. They took 34 tenants, gave them free rent, and that's the security of the complex. Mm, yeah, yeah. So 34 different families are like total gangsters over there. That, wow. was, that was crazy. I couldn't, bl- I couldn't believe when he said that. We, when we were walking through uh, the middle of like a Wednesday afternoon and just everyone's outside like barbecuing, we're just like, yeah. why the fuck aren't these people at work? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Those people were brutal too. Yeah. It was like half, you know, each demographic, like half mm. Spanish, half black, and they mm. were like rivals in the complex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. One guy just rolled up to me and just rolled down his window and just screamed at me as loud as he could for no reason. And really? I was just like, all right, well, we're okay. Get out of here now. It's good. A couple uh, people okay. rolled by us and just threw stuff out their window. Yeah. That was the first. That was right when you pulled in. I'm just like, ah, oh, this deal's dead. Yeah. <laughs> this deal's not happening. <laughs> oh, Damien, you remember? I remember. So we were walking through, just at the entire complex staring at us. Damien has the camera up, like filming everyone on the balconies. I'm just like tapping. I'm just like, put the camera down. Put the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, no, no. Not yeah. now. Yeah, he was filming everybody and they were just like, who is this guy and why is he filming us? We have a we have a saying on the content side. It's ABF, always be filming. So Damien has no construct of like social environment. He's yeah, just filming. Yeah. And they're like gangsters, you know? It's so crazy. That's funny, man. Wow. Well, I love Houston, so we're definitely going to be growing over there. Yep. But we have to stick in the 100 plus unit category, mm. right? That space. Yep. And I like moment. Houston too. Uh, I like Houston a lot. It's great, isn't it? It is. It's great. It's got a lot of room for growth, and of course, the landlord tenant laws are very not like New York. Um, but I love I love New York. I love Houston. You know how I feel about Kansas City, and I still think that eventually we'll we'll get there. Um, but yeah, Houston definitely great spot. We should make another company trip to Houston. After I was talking to Danny about that yesterday. Yeah, he's like, "When are you guys coming back?" So after we close another big deal over there, we should swing by like company. Well, trip. Yeah. We're gonna we have, have to soon. There's a couple big ones coming up. We're gonna have to take some foosball lessons if we're gonna play. If we're gonna go visit Daniel, how nasty is he? Just embarrassed it's me. Like, like, doesn't Remember, make, it like doesn't make sense. Yeah, like it physically doesn't make sense how good he is at foosball. He goes, da- Alan's like, I'm good at foosball. I'm good, yeah, I'm good at foosball. Like, I thought I was decent. <laughs> I didn't even know that skill gap could be that high. And it then I crazy. forgot you can't spin. And I was like, oh, I'm not good at foosball. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, just a wreck. He, he, was just, he was passing the ball from like the five to the three. How does he do that? He was just like tapping it to himself and just play it back and forth. And then you're standing there on defense like... Yeah. I'm literally blocking every section of the goal, and he yeah, finds yeah, that yeah. little. I was, guess, I was just guessing. Just no, 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 he does it. He's just <laughs> yeah, he's a crazy. surgeon. And Chubby Daniel's like making it a sport. He's like kicking yeah. his leg yeah. back with the flick of the wrist. <laughs> You're like, damn, this guy's so, active. At the wedding last night, he was telling me and Chris stories of how like the world champions of foosball would have like private gyms in their basement just working out that motion. Just like working out like the motion to turn the thing. No. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Different world. He's, I'm like sitting there sweating, like trying to figure out what's going on. He's, he's eating a sandwich and beating me one-handed. I just couldn't believe it. Wild. But yeah, if we're going to go see Daniel again, Daniel, we're, gonna, we're coming for you. Don't worry. Guys, where do you see things turning right now in Long Island? Like what are you feeling right now? You know, not what you, what you're foreshadowing, like what you're feeling is happening right this second. Um, yeah. Definitely a shift, like to more uh, negotiating power. Easily can tell that. Like for the buyers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that the, uh, you know, the industrial market. I still think is, it's seeing a dip now. I, I think it'll continue to see a little dip, but I don't think it's going to last. I think that the the vacancy rate for Industrial is way down, and I think obviously being on Long Island, we're not going to see lots of new builds happening here. Um, so I still think that industrial is the way to go, and multifamily, I also think is going to continue to be very competitive and difficult um, to get at a decent price, um, with the rents probably continually going up while people can't afford to buy houses. So. For sure. 
And it's just easy. Yeah, it's easy to see. Like, um, even all these properties that we've been working on for months that, like, we pulled out of, we weren't matching their number, they're all, all of a sudden dropping half a million off purchase price. You know what? I'd love to see that big deal we were looking at in Bohemia. The, what was it? 56,000 oh, yeah, yeah. feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it that big? I, it was bigger I, than that. 55, I think. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would love to see where they're at right now. I bet they didn't sell. I'll put my money on it. No shot. No shot. I'll find out. I'll find out. But yeah, I think um, I think those are the two markets that are, are the hottest. But I think a lot of good opportunity is going to happen more in the office sector. And uh, Like what do you think is coming to office? I was actually about I think, to say. I like, think office is going to drop even more. I think that's going to be where we're going to be able to get the cheapest deals that are going to have the most, you know, uh, the most payback in the future. You know what I mean? Like reposition office and stuff? Yeah, and, I think that office mm-hmm. is like, gonna make a comeback but i think it's just it's not the sector that people are just gonna be buying up right now aren't they converting a lot of office to medical space like space now yeah medical office is still killing it yeah but there's so many but there's so many of that on long island that's the only thing like driving through like certain areas of suffolk uh, i know you guys well you're from suffolk but uh you know i see a lot of vacant medical spaces still so Mm -hmm. i think it's gonna come up it's gonna come down to these medical spaces updating their their facilities and making them nice. I don't think that anyone's just going to settle for any medical space anymore. Um, a lot of the medical space that is available is outdated, and it's just looked the same since I was a kid. And I think once people update that more and put some more money into their buildings, then I think you'll be seeing pretty I know Northwell in Farmingdale and Broadway, they're buying up buildings. Yeah. Big buildings. Northwell will lease a place like across the street from where they're building just so nobody else can lease it you told us that story yeah, right? it was they like... leased it for like a year paid for it and did not even like step foot in it wild while they were building in bay shore just so nobody else could take it they have so much money it's insane. so much money it's stupid it's crazy i love that small unit industrial space you know yeah. like i would love i love those like 20,000 square foot buildings that are broken into like 10 units yeah 1500 square foot 3000 square foot units let me tell you something i have a couple clients i'm looking for for space like that it is not not easy it is not easy like stuff that has been on the market remember do you remember we looked at um this place in patchogue it was like an industrial space on the water that was like a complete yes hack job that needed to be that thing's been on the market for how long now years probably since me and you started talking Mm -hmm. I called the place yesterday. Finally, found somebody interested. Oh, sorry, at least, it's like the place was just a disaster. Oh, you did know? you fall off with the, the that patchog deal we were working on, Stephen? The office? Oh yeah, yeah. The way yeah. Us. Um, yeah, I spoke to Mike. We're gonna try to work out the business side of it, and then figure out the real estate, but. Not really any update yet. No. We'll see. No. Oh, the one with the vacant land next door? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. I wonder if medical is going to get into like that industrial side of things, you know, and then they're going to like convert industrial buildings into medical in these industrial parks over time. I think maybe in maybe. like as far as like labs and, and data centers and stuff like that, you'll see some of that start to happen. Just such a cheaper price per foot option mm, right? for now mm. until they they go in there and and raise Drive it, up. it up yeah yeah because the office market like it makes sense why would i buy an office building when right next door there's an industrial right. building for half the price right and right. i could just build it out as an uh, whatever office my heart desires yeah. with higher ceilings yeah. yeah yeah that's very true i could see that happening you see those parks like out east that they just converted from industrial to office yeah mm-hmm medical condos hacking them up yeah it's unfortunately true. we lost that one medical condo deal which one satake oh yeah yeah that's okay drives me crazy till now i know i don't know if part of me just Wasn't feels a, like that's not chris gonna, mentioned uh, chris mentioned gonna something about that deal no, no. it's not happening no. No. it's not worth it we're going to buy the debt and then we're going to do something else but it's not going to happen what a shame, right? Yo, that gym guy. He's going to be so sorry that I didn't buy that building. I know. 
he was such a problem, such a mess, such an everything. At the end of the day, our, our goal was to keep him there. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. Part of me is like, you know when you have that feeling like it's just going to come back? It's just, I have that feeling like. You think so? Yeah, because, I mean, it's just, it's been going on for so long. And now they want to they, they wanna exercise this right that they've had the whole time. And for what? And I feel like their, their reasoning behind whatever it is, their, why they're doing it isn't strong enough for them to see it through. Like, I just think that they wanted to just basically make it seem like, you know, we can win this, you know? And in the end, it takes a lot to do what needs to be done to that place. And I don't know if they have that, like, mentality or even the desire to do it. I'd love to know where he's getting the money from. I have a like, feeling. this dude, this normal guy is just kind of going to come up with, like, three and a half mil. But, like, how is he going to get the debt? I, based on the contract that he has, I don't know how he's going to get the debt. Because you remember, he couldn't even afford his unit. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. He couldn't even afford his own unit. Which we should have bought. I was just yeah. going to say, that was the whole kicker about that, is that we could have bought the unit of the guy that exercised his rofer. Well, maybe he would have exercised his rofer back he then. He would have exercised it, but, 100%. But no, but no, wasn't it the gym guy that approached the so solar league yeah. guy with the rofer to exercise the rofer? So who knows if... If we just bought that one unit, then... Like, we yeah, should have bid that unit up. Right. If we right. would have, like, had the hindsight, I would have bid right. that unit up to twice what he paid for it. Right. Just to get that deal. Yeah. But who would have thought, you know? Yeah. I definitely didn't see that coming. Definitely Neither. not. What a shame, too. That property is mint. Mm. But, you know, you got to look at the good side. Is we got another one that's really nice too and and we're just gonna keep doing we're more just gonna deals. keep doing that yeah, yeah. and I, I sent again i just have a feeling like this is not over I just i don't know what it is gut you know yeah you know you're right though because those those bad things happen and then we're doing deals three times the size yeah. as well but it's like that loss you know i feel like i'm losing yeah i know yeah. it's not fun especially working on it as as hard as as we did and yeah we did we spent a lot we spent of time. Spent a lot on that. of time on that, and uh, it's it's just a great property. So, it is what it is, man. All these sellers, though, they had like these huge price tickets. Yep. You know, I know this guy. He had an institution offered him two hundred dollars a foot for seven hundred thousand square feet for his industrial buildings. Where? Oh, just Long like Island. Mixed you know around. who it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he didn't take it. Oh, and yeah, I know who it is. And yeah, now yeah. he's, there's no way they could keep that. There's no way they can match that. Yeah. It was a going in five cap at the time. There's no way. Nope. Yeah. With the debt where it is now, it's been, it's gone two up two and a half points mm -hmm. since yeah. then. But it becomes a, a it becomes a need that. thing. That's the only thing that I sort of have like, the only thing about industrial that makes me think that those prices aren't going to shift that much. I mean, look at look at what we're talking about in Farmingdale, right? We got this rundown, just beat up place that we're actually considering for buying one hundred and fifty dollars a foot. One hundred and fifty dollars a foot. So think about those nice industrial buildings that don't need that kind of work. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and the need, the the uh, what, what's it called? The demand is just not. It's not going to go away. You know, because we are Long Island. We can't build anymore. You know what I mean? Like, so the demand is going to be there. So that's why I just feel like industrial is a different kind of, of situation in the long run. What would be so cool with that building is if we take it, if we could get it for like, I don't know, say 140 a foot, mm -hmm. if that's even feasible. Mm -hmm. And then we blow out the ceiling and just raise it to 24 feet yeah. across the roof. We were talking to Taylor about that. How much... How much did he say? Three. Say, I think. No. How much did he say? Forty Thir a foot. Thirty a foot. Thirty a foot. I, I think thought. He said thirty a foot. No, had to be more than that. No, I didn't. Um, what's his name? The the listing agent we were talking to at the time. Did he say thirty dollars a foot? I don't know, but we need to revisit that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk I mean to the, the location that. is obviously great. Mint. Mint. I mean, location. Yeah, that's a. It's a weird building because you have those two sections that are already. I think. 18? Yeah, something or, like that. Higher. No, like like 20. 20. 20, yeah, 20, 20. yeah. And it's like those units, I mean, we're going to get 
what, 15, 16 triple net, like 19 gross on those units compared to the lower ceiling ones. We're going to try to get what, what are we underwriting at? 12, Yeah, 15, something, like, something that. like that. 14 even. I don't know. Not so, 14, 13. Yeah. That would be kind of dope though. Blowing out the top, right? 24 foot ceilings, maybe half of it or something. No, first floor office, mm -hmm. right? No second floor. Mm -hmm. Or we'll build it out like John and Taylor's Central Ave building. Yeah. Ooh, right? That'd be sick. Yeah. That'd be really sick. Like mezzanine office type situation? Yes. The mez office on like a small portion, like 3,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. I like that. Below it would be like low ceiling industrial with like a... It would be like a single tenant building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then we could bring the loading docks on the right side of the building, like off the off the main road. You know what I mean? I like that. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. So yeah. two loading docks over there. The rest of the building is all parking. Right. Right, right, right. I got you. Then the question becomes, is it worth it after you do all that? I mean, we gotta. I got to get it quoted out. Yeah. But if we could be all in for like 180 a foot mm -hmm. on a building like that. Definitely yeah. worth it. Yeah, 24 foot 180, ceilings. 180, yeah, 100%. How much can yeah. we get per foot on 24 I'm seeing $16 a foot for high ceiling, $17 yeah. a foot net. Crazy. Oh, it's crazy especially, numbers. Especially in the area because I don't think anything on... In oh, the, nothing on that street that has on, not high ceiling. Nothing on that street nothing. is over 18. Not even. I don't even think they, I've seen yeah, one on yeah, that I building. Think all, I think they're all like 14 or 15. 15, yeah. 16. For some reason, it's funny, we were like standing out there once for another property and like looking down the block mm -hmm. and like you didn't see anything that was like high. It was yeah. just like all low ceiling. Really? And does, I sw you could do it yourself, dude. Pull up on the end of that street and just look down and you're not, you'll see one building that's maybe 16 and that's Wow. It. Yeah. And we know those go quick. Yep. Central, yeah. Central, uh, I didn't see a lot of high stuff on Central either, to be honest. Yeah. Right? How big are Taylor's ceilings? I don't know. You knew. Was it was it twenty? In Central, it's or more. It's no, might it's be a, twenty. It's eighteen, I think. Eighteen. It can't be. I think it's eighteen. Is it eighteen? Yeah, in San in Taylor's building. Yeah. 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 Those are those are high ceilings. Yeah, but easily. Fuck. Was it high? Not. No, I'm saying like how high. I know uh, Hopog had had a mix of like eighteen, twenty-one, Probably twenty-four. Something like that. Yeah. I think it was 18. That was... Uh, I love I love that building. That there is, yeah. Yeah. Taylor's building. Hop Hog's nice. nice, too. Hop Hog is massive. Yeah. Oh, my God. Where's their new one? Yeah, yeah. I still haven't seen their new I one. I still yet. haven't seen the new one, either. Where is it? It's they didn't in, really start doing the build-out yet, right? That would be... A, we could probably get over an 8-cap on that. Pro Forma 8-cap. Formido? Yeah. The one that we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. It's not I mean, bad. If we, dude, if we put in that money, like... Did it's you definitely. do the ceiling height? What? Did you do the blowing out the ceilings? Yeah. I bet we could get 16 a, f a foot triple net over there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so. Raise the ceilings like that. Burp. Loading Based on dock. cubic foot, it would be insane. Mm -hmm. Loading mm -hmm. dock, definitely. If you're going to do blow out the ceiling, you need a loading dock now. Oh my god, the the big buildings like around the block in Melville. You know which ones, the monster ones that are yeah. colored blue and everything. They're getting yeah. like 24 triple net. Yep. Yeah. That's what they're asking. But, but that's 40 state foot of, And those state-of-the-art yeah, yeah. facilities. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about, right? Like, people are going to pay that for those kinds of buildings, right? Like, the fact that we're talking about renting out industrial space for $18 a foot, $16 a foot, that's crazy. I mean, when I started yeah, I working five years, five, ago, five years yeah, ago, yeah, like, it was like $8, $9 a foot. Mm -hmm. Double. You know, so and I don't see it going away anytime soon. I just yeah. don't. It is the new retail. Let's be real. We do need a new office for ourselves, though. Stat. I know. Yeah. Uh, Stat. Looked at that deal yet? Which, Which one? Looked at it. The one that you sent him when we were sitting in. Oh, what happened with that? I didn't, I didn't have my laptop all day. Yo, <laughs> man. <That's laughs> it's it's on your phone, my guy. Yeah, but then I no, it doesn't. Didn't work on my phone. Just say you you didn't think about it. I've, I've told you five times, I think, already. Really? Yeah. I Alan, looked at it. We found a condo. I, I looked at it. We found an office condo. Okay. And it's very cheap. Okay. Yeah. How big? 3,000 square feet. Chris, is it, is it a good office for us, Chris? The location is 
perfect. Okay, but what about the kind of office we I, want? No, for us, yes. yes. Okay. 3,500, 4,000 square feet. And that's without negotiating, and I don't think there's going to be many clients for this building. How's mm. parking? I haven't looked. I didn't even see the... I just know the, the area. Okay. Matt's supposed to set it Are up. Are you going to say... Yeah, uh, wait, what town is it in? Oh, you guys. You guys. These guys. We're going to need to get a Prius. <laughs> Hashtag uh, Prius Army. That's a good spot, though. Central yeah, I mean, for everyone. it's incredible, but for me, <laughs> the drive is like a mistake. It's just like it's not like you just sell your house or anything. Just uh, move over here. You're going to get top dollar. I know, but I don't want to. I love my house. So rent it. I love it. the North Shore. Yeah, maybe I'll rent it. I might rent it. Rent, dude, I'm you just kidding, it? Mahalia. I love you. I'm not going to sell the house, sweetie. <laughs> you do have a dope house. She loves that house, yeah. My kids do love that house. Man, I don't mind driving. And we'll buy the building. We'll buy it. The three of us. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's do it. You know? I'm into it. And then we own our building so nobody could tell us anything. And we'll just build it out to be like a sick space. Mm. My question is, though, are we going to grow out 3,500 square feet really fast? That's my, that's my concern. I mean, if we, we do, do build we own the building. You know, no, we can't. It's a condo. It's a first floor co office condo. Even if we grow, outgrow it, it's like it's ours. There's so an whatever. HOA? What? HOA? Has to be. Yeah, has yeah. to be a condo board, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm but I don't know. We, we need to look into it. I think it's only a two-unit condo. Oh, really? Yeah. So you just got to get that other guy out. Yeah, if we could buy out his unit upstairs. But we don't even know what it is yet. Matt needs to find out. Come on, find out. He just doesn't want to drive to... <laughs> I'm going to stop it. installing until I find something. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we could get something like that for 400 oh. yeah. For us. That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. We'll put I mean, some... the office sector is where where we can get a good deal, but it's just a matter of fitting our. I don't want your traditional office. No, we'll build something out insane. Yeah, something real nice. That's home base. That's going to be crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, and yep. thirty five hundred, perfectly fine. It's a good good size for right like now. Melville. That's more than enough. No, right it's more now. than Melville. Well, Melville I don't was like that three thousand maybe. You think so? Melville no, was a good size right now. Two thousand? Not, Not even. even. Ours? It's like twelve hundred. No, I thought it was. I thought it was twelve hundred. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, it's definitely. I think it's definitely. But then plus our like section of the warehouse too. No, you can't count that. That section's not coming. The, no, like, what's we a, would want that, that in the new office. That's one hundred percent coming. Are you kidding? No, nah, no pong office. That's. That'd be a no game zone. That's strictly work. <laughs> Matt, don't call that. I mean, don't call that office. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna let us drive. We'll put a ping pong table with blocks on it. Obviously, the losers won't. It's gonna be a <laughs> coin operated ping pong table. You wanna play, you gotta pay. <laughs> That's fine. You gotta pay losers, for the balls. Losers gotta pay. So, <laughs> so I just can't play Matt. And I just can't play Matt. <laughs> so. That would be dope, though. We actually really gotta look into that. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm so excited to grow more in Long Island. Yeah. Now as things are getting Wait, rocky. Are you still going or? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Now as things are getting rocky, just take over the island. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be I an mean, exciting year. Dude, how long have we, like, kind of pulled back a little bit from out-of-state stuff and, like, really honed in on Long Island again? How long has it been? Month? Three weeks. Month? Three weeks, yeah. yeah. I mean... When we got stuff going already. Say, yeah, like, I mean... I guess we can't really say no, that. we can't say, but it's been good. We got some few deals under contract, or going to be under contract, and it's going to be a good year if we keep up this pace. Oh, yeah. You know what it was for me over like the last two years is pulling the curtains back and seeing what other people are capable of, and I'm like, if they're capable of that, we could do ten times that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the Wizard of Oz theory, like you pull back the curtains, and it's like, that's who's behind <laughs> right, the right, curtain. Right. <laughs> yep. You know? When yeah, you see yeah. them, you talk to them, and you're like, I'm more competitive than you. I know how to do this better than you. I can operate this better than you. Mm -hmm. Why can you access so much more capital? Right, just because right. you're not concerned. You right. know, you have that confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Just like when we play Matt and ping pong. You know? <laughs> it's like he's got that confidence. He just crushes everyone. <laughs> That's right. 
It's all right. All right. You just got to have that mentality. Exactly. And then you're unstoppable. Kill mentality. Unstoppable. (laughs) It's so funny. When I play this guy, when I play this guy, (laughs) this guy beats me like 37 times in a row. I'm not even exaggerating. And then I'll win like a game or two here and there. This guy gets so pissed. Yeah. I'm like, bro, imagine if you were me. Like, what would you like do? I don't like losing. Obviously. I mean, it's like. I don't like losing. It's unbelievable, but back to the. the and he wins in like everything, thing. like poker tournaments, golf yeah, it's, tournaments, it's very competitive, ping pong. It's yeah, like you like can't ball. be good at everything. We're well, gonna have to um, ask, find. Ask some. what happened with foosball. Me and Daniel play them. I, uh, honestly, yeah, I'll give Daniel. I'll, I'll retire from foosball. I'm never gonna match Daniel in foosball. That's I was, I was his teammate. You can't take that away from me. That's right. He would have beat us two, uh, one on two. <laughs> While eating a sandwich, yeah. I'm telling you, he's that good, that guy. But back to yeah, what were you saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. You got a competitive mentality here, and you definitely do. I so. wonder if Matt goes home and he's just like looking in the mirror, like I am You're the better greatest. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that goal you let up in yeah. the second half of the game, ridiculous. That should have yeah. been a stop. He takes the ping pong racket home, just beating himself in the face yeah. with it. Like, how could you let Allen win just one game? Shame on you. But, we had one game. He calls the score. He goes like twenty-one twelve, and I beat him that game. Yeah, and he was like devastated. He's devastated. He gets and then so we ran, upset. Then we, we ran, ran it back. Then we ran it back, and what happened? I beat you one more time, and then we ran it back another thirteen times. <laughs> I lost. <13 laughs> I beat him you twice did, in did a row. Beat me twice in a row. And he's like, "What's going on?" The yeah. kid like looked around, thought he was on punked or something. <laughs> <laughs> we got him now. That's so funny. Any Crazy. office, see us in ping pong. You get smoked. That's right. Yeah, office office Olympics. What's yeah. his name? Doesn't uh, that guy Will do office uh, ping pong? No, uh, Will, Will does. Yeah, and so does Moriel. Yep. What's up? We gotta bring him to the cage. <laughs> we do have show to. him what's up. Yeah. See, don't you guys want that for your new office? I mm-hmm. mean, Chris, come on. Just Chris just wants to work. Chris, his head's in the game. He just doesn't. You know, he. He just can't com- compete with us in it. That's the problem. It's I mean, awesome. you're not wrong. <laughs> but I also don't play, so. There's no work life balance for Chris. It's I know. Work. I know. It's good. It's not a bad thing. But this guy goes out, so he has fun. He leaves. He goes away for a few days. I'll yeah, take later. I take my vacation. He takes his vacations. Yeah. Anyway. All right, boys. This was dope. Absolutely. I'm going to head out to Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming on. This we is great. We are go have an hour ride home and um, yeah. get ready for Garden City. Yeah. Uh, right there. Uh.